Imagine an ancient river flowing through the cradle of civilization, breathing life into the parched land for millennia. This is no ordinary river. It's the Euphrates, a lifeline that has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the march of armies, the whisper of lovers, and the laughter of children playing on its banks. But something startling is happening. Over the last 40 years, the Euphrates' once mighty flow has dwindled by an alarming 40%. A river that once teemed with life, now revealing a stark landscape, a chilling silence echoing the dramatic transformation. This decline, largely attributed to climate change and human activity, is a crisis of epic proportions, one threatening the ecosystems, the people, and the very heartbeat of the region. Shockingly, amidst the daunting crisis, the receding waters are peeling back the layers of time, revealing secrets long hidden beneath the waves. Ancient cities once submerged are now exposed. Artifacts that speak volumes of civilization's past are coming to light. In this journey, we will explore these discoveries, the stories they tell, the questions they raise, and the urgency they underscore for preserving our past. Hold on to your seats, for we are about to unravel the mysteries revealed by the retreating waters of the mighty Euphrates. Euphrates in history, an ancient lifeline. We cast our minds back to the time when the Euphrates first began its intimate relationship with mankind. This majestic river, one of the longest in Western Asia, has been a lifeline for civilization since the dawn of human history, cradling ancient societies in its fertile basin. This is not just a river, it is an artery pulsating with life and history. The Euphrates has borne witness to the rise of empires and the fall of dynasties, its waters nourishing the land and nurturing ancient societies. The Sumerians, the Babylonians, the Romans, the Byzantines all found a home and flourished alongside this abundant river. Its waters irrigated fields, fed livestock, quenched thirst, and facilitated trade. The Euphrates wasn't just a provider. It was a boundary, a natural defense, a demarcation of realms, it played a central role in many historical narratives, even finding significant mentions in holy texts. But the whispers of the past are not all this river holds. As we venture forward, we'll delve into the secrets being revealed as the Euphrates withdraws. Each newly exposed stone is a puzzle piece, each artifact a key to understanding our shared human story. So, stay with us as we journey through time tracing the fingerprints of ancient civilizations along the banks of this once bountiful river. The marshes fade, climate change's impact on Euphrates. As we wander along the length of the Euphrates, it's impossible to ignore the significant changes in the landscape. The lush marshes that once echoed with the songs of migratory birds and teemed with aquatic life are slowly withering away, turning into the parched earth. What has caused this transformation? Climate change stands as a prime suspect, its fingerprints clear on the declining flow of the Euphrates. It's a subtle yet ruthless adversary, shifting weather patterns and causing unpredictable and severe droughts that suck the life out of the river. But the decline isn't entirely nature's doing. The hand of humanity has also played a part. Dams, built to harness the river's flow for energy or irrigation, have choked the Euphrates, reducing it to a mere trickle in some parts. This rampant and often unchecked human activity is straining the Euphrates, threatening the survival of those who depend on it. But as the waters recede, they are uncovering secrets from the past. The riverbed, often a graveyard for lost civilizations, is now turning into an archaeologist's dream. These remnants beckon us closer, inviting us to unearth the tales they hold within. Prophecy Unfolding Biblical connections to a drying Euphrates. The Euphrates has not only coursed through lands and civilizations, but also woven its way through the spiritual tapestry of mankind. Many of us know of it as one of the four rivers mentioned in the biblical tale of Eden, flowing from paradise into our mortal realm. It features in prophecies, too. It's being tied to events of great significance. In the book of Revelation, it is written that the Euphrates will dry up in preparation for the end times, making way for the kings of the east to march westward. Observing the current state of the river, 
It's easy for some to speculate, to wonder, is prophecy unfolding before our very eyes? The drying of the Euphrates not only gives birth to these conjectures, but also sparks serious concerns. A significant decline in water availability in this already volatile region may brew a perfect storm, leading to political conflicts and public health crises. But it's not all gloom and doom. As the waters of the Euphrates recede, they reveal glimpses of an age gone by, unearthing sites of immense historical value. From the remains of ancient cities like Dohuk and the majestic Haztec Castle, to intricate Greek inscriptions and Babylonian references, the drying Euphrates is rewriting history, one revelation at a time. Revealed Mysteries, the ancient cities beneath the waves. Let's take a step back, back to a time when the Euphrates was full and cities thrived along its banks, back to a time when these cities were swallowed by the river's swelling tides, their stories submerged beneath the waves. Now, centuries later, the receding waters are slowly peeling back the layers of history, revealing remnants of these lost cities. One such discovery is the ancient city of Dohuk, nestled in the Tigris River Basin, its secrets once lost beneath the depths, now surfacing for all to see. Moving east, we encounter the remains of Haztec Castle in Turkey, its stones etched with Greek inscriptions and whispers of Babylonian influences. These ancient cities aren't merely ruins, they are narratives set in stone, stories waiting to be read, tales begging to be told. But the mysteries do not end here. The receding Euphrates is painting a broader picture of ancient civilizations, from the robust Mitanni Empire to the city of Nineveh, once a potent symbol of ancient prosperity. Each structure, every artifact, reveals something about our past. Imagine, if you will, a colossal head sculpture, its features weathered by time, yet a silent testament to the craftsmanship of an era long past. Envision burial sites, their occupants providing insight into the rituals, beliefs, and physical characteristics of ancient societies. These revelations aren't just about preserving our past, they challenge our understanding of human history, unearthing traces of gender equality in the Neolithic era and shifting our perceptions of early societies. You won't believe what's coming up. The Epic of Gilgamesh, an unexpected find. Let us now travel to an era, a period long before the invention of writing, to one of the world's first epic tales, the Epic of Gilgamesh. This ancient saga takes us on a journey through the life of Gilgamesh, a legendary king of Uruk, and his quest for immortality. As timeless as the river itself, this epic tale has always been closely tied to the Euphrates. In this captivating narrative, we encounter an epic flood, a cataclysmic event bearing an uncanny resemblance to the biblical story of Noah. The receding Euphrates River, known to be the very lifeblood of Gilgamesh's city of Uruk, brings us closer than ever to the world of this ancient king. Incredibly, evidence of this epic tale has been uncovered beneath the river's ebbing tide. Imagine the thrill of finding fragments of ancient clay tablets, their cuneiform inscriptions telling tales of gods and kings, of friendship and mortality, of a great flood that reshaped the world. These fragile fragments, silent for millennia, now speak to us, offering a glimpse into the beliefs and folklore of the people who lived along the Euphrates banks all those centuries ago. But why is this important? Why should we care about an ancient tale? whispers from a long-lost civilization. It's because stories like the Epic of Gilgamesh aren't just histories, they're reflections of our collective humanity. They tell us about our timeless struggle with mortality, our pursuit of knowledge, and our enduring spirit of adventure. Buried Secrets, Exploring Ancient Burial Sites Among the silt and pebbles of the receding Euphrates, there lies a fascinating journey back in time to the world of the departed, as the riverbed's sands shift and turn, they unveil hushed chapters of human existence. Ancient burial sites, hidden for centuries under the protective cover of water. These are not mere graves. They are historical manuscripts written in bone and earth, silent storytellers of a bygone era. What can these silent tombs reveal to us? In the carefully arranged skeletal remains, Archaeologists find whispers of ancient beliefs about life, death, and the hereafter. In the beaded necklaces, intricately crafted pottery, and bronze weapons buried alongside, they see reflections of past cultures and societies. 
One of these burial sites, now bared by the Euphrates, bears the legacy of a long-forgotten civilization. This site, surrounded by the aura of reverence and mystery, has revealed a rich tapestry of burial customs and rituals. Each burial mound, each tombstone, and each artifact tells a tale of human dreams, fears, and hopes. And here's where it gets truly intriguing. Some of these graves don't just echo human voices, they echo the voices of powerful women from the Neolithic era. Uncovered female burial sites, brimming with prestige artifacts, suggest that these ancient societies may have revered women in leadership positions, challenging our conventional beliefs about early human civilizations. Indeed, each burial site is like a puzzle, a riddle from the past waiting to be solved. Each grave whispers tales of the people who once lived, loved, and dreamed on these very banks, and how they understood their place in the cosmos. Each era of this buried saga makes us realize that these are not just artifacts and bones. They are echoes of the human spirit, resilience, and the enduring desire to be remembered. Rise from the Depths, the Lost Mitanni Empire. Imprinted in the clay and dust, carved by time and the receding waters of the Euphrates, emerges a glorious empire lost to the depths of history, the Mitanni Empire. A powerful kingdom in the Bronze Age, the Mitanni Empire was once a hub of political maneuvering and cultural exchange, thriving at the crossroads of the ancient world. The Euphrates, ever the revealer of secrets, has laid bare a remnant of the Mitanni civilization. Architectural structures, streets, and artifacts, all speaking volumes about the grandeur and the cultural affluence of the empire that once flourished here. Each exposed brick and artifact is a testament to the thriving civilization that held sway over this region over 3,000 years ago. Imagine a city bustling with trade, the air rich with the scents of exotic spices from the east and rare woods from the south. Picture chariots rumbling down the busy streets and the king's scribes recording treaties with neighboring kingdoms. Listen to the silent echoes of celebrations, royal feasts, and religious ceremonies that once pulsated through the heart of the city. Yet, with all its might and glory, the Mitanni Empire could not stand the test of time, and its grandeur was swallowed by the relentless waves of the Euphrates. Its cities, palaces, and stories lay buried beneath the mighty river's bed, waiting for the time when the waters would recede and their tales could be told once again. Now, as we stand on the banks of the drying Euphrates, we witness the rebirth of the Mitanni Empire from its watery grave. Its rise from the depths reminds us of the impermanence of human endeavors and the everlasting dance of creation and destruction. In this unfolding drama of the receding river and the re-emerging past, the echoes of the Mitanni Empire ripple through the centuries, painting a vivid tableau of a time that once was and may never be again. Be Haztec Castle, History Uncovered in the desolate and parched lands left behind by the dwindling Euphrates, another ghost from the past has risen. Towering stones and ancient architecture emerge from beneath the receding waters, revealing the elusive Haztec castle. This unexpected find sends shivers of excitement through the archaeological community, unearthing a piece of history once thought to be lost forever. Haztec Castle, nestled in eastern Turkey, is a forgotten sentinel, a silent witness to countless generations that lived, flourished, and faded away. What was once submerged and hidden from human eyes is now open to the sun, exposed to the whispers of the wind, and ready to share the secrets it has guarded for centuries. We tread on the rough and worn stones, walking through the echoes of a history that spans civilizations. Babylonian references, Greek inscriptions, the walls of Haztec Castle bear the indelible marks of the various cultures that held sway over this region. Each script etched into the stones serves as a fragment of the grand jigsaw puzzle of human history. Imagine the clamor of battle, the clang of swords, and the shouts of warriors echoing through these now silent corridors. Envision the king overlooking his realm from the high battlements, or a princess watching the golden sunset over the Euphrates from the tower. These walls, these stones, bear mute testimony to a thousand untold stories. Yet, Haztec Castle is more than just a monument to the past. It's a beacon of wisdom, 
shedding light on the ways of our ancestors, their triumphs, their defeats, and their undying spirit. In its stones and its dust, we find fragments of our collective memory, our shared past, and perhaps a hint of our shared destiny. The re-emergence of Haztec Castle is not just a revelation of a historical site. It's a resurrection of shared human experiences, of stories whispered from generation to generation, of a timeless connection that binds us all together. In the heart of a drying riverbed, Haztec Castle stands tall, a testament to our shared past and a poignant reminder of our ever-evolving narrative. Merbet, the village underwater. Imprinted in the memory of waters, a village's tale begins to unfold. Merbet, an obscure name until recently, was a village that thrived on the banks of the Euphrates. A community that witnessed the ebbs and flows of the river, seasons of plenty and drought, and the ceaseless march of history. The receding river level that turned adversity into an opportunity brought Merbet into the limelight. With each passing day, as the Euphrates yielded its watery cloak, Outlines of structures began to appear, blurred shapes gaining solidity, stirring interest in archaeologists and historians alike. The waters of the Euphrates gave way to reveal the remnants of dwellings, pottery, implements, and more. These finds painted a portrait of the everyday life of a village once bustling with activity, now silenced under the weight of centuries. Merbet, an embodiment of resilience and continuity silently bore witness to the rise and fall of civilizations, encapsulating the essence of human existence. Every artifact, every structure unearthed in Merbet, offered a precious glimpse into our past. Each object tells a story, a tale of human ingenuity, endurance, and a relentless pursuit of existence. From farming tools to cooking pots, each piece brings us closer to the people who once called this village their home. But these revelations are not without their share of threats. The drying Euphrates, while revealing these secrets, is also exposing them to the harsh elements, erosion, and the unregulated attention of the world. Merbet, once protected by the life-giving waters of the Euphrates, now lies exposed, facing the challenge of preservation. Thus, Merbet stands today, a testament to time, history, and the enduring spirit of human life. It's a silent narration of our shared past, waiting to be heard, understood, and preserved. It's a story that, like the course of the Euphrates itself, meanders through the annals of time, etching a tale of resilience and revelation. Nineveh, revisiting the capital of Assyria. As the Euphrates whispers away its water, another name comes into focus, Nineveh, once the flourishing capital of the mighty Assyrian Empire. This city, once the epitome of grandeur and power, now lies obscured by time and silt, silently awaiting its due recognition. Nineveh's walls, which once held back armies, have been bearing their secrets to us, as the receding waters of the Euphrates have let them breathe once again. These ancient walls speak of a time when Assyria was a beacon of civilization, with Nineveh at its heart, a city bustling with life, culture, trade, and power. At its zenith, Nineveh was an architectural marvel, adorned with grand palaces, monumental statues, expansive gardens, and the famed library of Ashurbanipal, holding invaluable records of human history. As the river waters draw back, the fragments of these colossal structures and cultural imprints echo the city's past grandeur. Pieces of cuneiform tablets, the remnants of the library surfaced from the riverbed, offering an exclusive window into the world of ancient Mesopotamia. Each piece of the tablet, each line of cuneiform, is a treasure of knowledge about a society that was extraordinarily advanced for its time. However, the fate of Nineveh today hangs in the balance. The city that withstood the ravages of time and war is now exposed to new dangers. The drying Euphrates, while unveiling these historical wonders, also threatens to destabilize the fragile ruins, making their preservation a race against time. As we traverse through the specter of Nineveh, each ruin, each artifact resonates with tales of its past, the echoes of people who built and inhabited this city, their dreams, achievements, and eventual decline. It stands as a testament to human ingenuity and our collective journey through time.
Nineveh's resurgence from the depths of the Euphrates is not just a discovery of an ancient city, but a revelation of our shared history, a tale of human triumph and fragility. This ancient city, now etched against the backdrop of the dying river, whispers to us the cyclical saga of growth, glory, ruin, and rebirth. Saving history, the urgency of preservation. The transformation of the Euphrates from an ancient lifeline to a harbinger of historical revelation. Each site unearthed, every artifact discovered, is a testament to our shared human journey. A story that the river has been yearning to share. But with the receding waters comes a stark reminder of our responsibilities. The clock is ticking. The ancient treasures are now exposed, vulnerable, awaiting our collective action to preserve them. The urgency is palpable. A clarion call echoed by the dying whispers of the Euphrates. Yet amidst this unfolding drama, a question arises, one that reverberates beyond the dry riverbed, echoing across humanity. Will we rise to the challenge? Will we grasp this extraordinary opportunity to safeguard our past, to enrich our future? As the sun sets on the Euphrates, the answer lies with us. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the video on the screen for more top-notch content.